How is it going, everybody? Uh, it's currently 8 o'clock. You've already read the title. I've got some more spam to finish. So obviously, the last time I made a video regarding spam, I tried to make the spam burger. And uh, yeah, it obviously didn't match anything close to the label. I'm pretty sure there are better ways of making a patty out of spam. At the time of this video, the other one hasn't been out yet, so I'm gonna guess that a lot of you would probably instruct me how to do it properly. But until then, I've also should acknowledge that apparently there's a lot of recipes to use spam with. Obviously, Keyframe has mentioned that, so there's a possible chance that I might just do a series of just doing more of these videos. Until then, um, I got the second half of that spam, and it's time to, uh, it's time to make a very interesting breakfast. So, I have all the essential ingredients to make the scrambled eggs like what was on that label. Um, the obviously the eggs, the spam which will be diced into cubes, um, the green onion, which I will have to start cutting that apart, and I am going to add the tomatoes to break out of the usual uh, recipe. As you can see what it's standing on here, I'm going to have that cutting board, and I should be having this in mind. So yeah, um, I am going to try to use up some of the other remaining uh, vegetables that I used for the Spam Burger. Um, probably not going to use the onions for this one, but I'll think of something uh, like outside of this video. But uh, that being said, uh, this shouldn't take long at all. So I'm first going to go ahead and get started on uh, dicing apart the um, this, uh, this the second half of the Spam piece. It still smells. You can see why a lot of people would say that it's like, it smells or it's nasty or something like that. Again, I don't think it's like nasty nasty, it's just a very very salty hot dog. It's it's pork. I can only imagine that at the time of the first video being uploaded, because this is also being like recorded the next day and not published, I can tell that some people would be correcting me over, you know, certain terms like, because I think last night I said something like, outside of pork I said, uh, pol poultry? I don't even know if that's pork. Um, I'm not an expert when it comes to meat. I just, there are things that I like to taste, and uh, that's all that matters to me. All right, so um, I think I may have cut this thoroughly into proper cubes. Did I get this top one? If I can move it, it's very slimy and difficult to move. There we go, yeah. They're a little, they look a little bit more rectangular, that's fine. Might consider trying to fillet this though. Okay, so they're not exactly cubes. Well, this one's closer to looking like a cube, but I think some different size proportions can make it a little more interesting to taste. Time to put this into a Ziploc bag and uh, work on the other essentials. Something I'm definitely doing first before I work on anything else is rinsing this off because I don't like to mix meat with other like vegetable products or produce products. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off this, uh, this kitchen knife and this cutting board and get back to where I was. All right, so the green onions are next. Uh, as I start uh, dicing this apart, I also have a separate bowl in order to put them in, so that way, they're uh, you know everything is properly uh, organized. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in here. I'm gonna keep this rubber band on, so that way everything is grouped together. But I might as well just start chopping away. Uh, look at that, an entire bowl of chopped up green onions. Uh, they're not perfectly cut. Some of these, I think they're like, they were in a bit of an odd shape, but uh, I'm not gonna dwell on that. This room definitely smells healthier now. Too bad that the meal is not gonna be. I could try to group them together. I can dice them apart. Once again, tomatoes are easier to cut. So the last thing to do um, is take care of the eggs. As I put this together, I do have a paper towel around me because I don't like there to be too much of a mess every time I cook. Anyways, crack and open the first egg. Let's to crack it harder next time. And the remaining eggshells, I can just dispose of them. 
I unfortunately don't have a whisk, so I'm using a fork just to mix up the eggs. Uh, I do not have anything mixed in there, not, at least not yet. I don't plan on it, um, or at least with the Spam, because I want to make sure that the Spam is cooked separately. You know, like it's always said, don't eat Spam when it's raw, and I'll run that kind of risk if I just mix that in there. Not gonna lie, this was a much bigger bowl than I thought. I guess I should have used one of the smaller ones. There we go. Throwing that in there. Some of them are starting to caramelize a little. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the window so that way it doesn't steam up too much. I know that like there's no oil needed whenever it comes to cooking um, cooking spam. I don't know if there would be enough oil to help support cooking scrambled eggs. Yes, I use oil to cook them with, and so that way it's easier for me to like scoop up the remains because otherwise it sticks to the pan, even non-stick pans like this one. Moving them around gently. I don't want to risk uh, accidentally like mushing them apart or breaking them apart. And look at that. The chopped up spam is now browning out. Well, most of them are. Some of them are going to be lighter than the others. Uh, I had a feeling there was going to be some imbalance because I'm managing like multiple cubes at the same time. The brown in here, it looks beautiful. Alright, so now that that's taken care of, uh, let's go ahead and get the spatula out of the way before I accidentally like burn it. Let's get a little bit of olive oil so that way the uh, eggs can cook and then all of this will be mixed in together. Something I learned over the years whenever it comes to uh, cooking scrambled eggs is that if you cook it at a very high temperature you run the risk of not necessarily burning them but they um, they cook up so fast that it doesn't it's not as moist but if you cook it too low it takes too long so I've got like in the medium heat so it takes a lot of paying attention to make sure that they're cooked right okay the eggs are definitely scrambling apart I've got it at low temperature so I can finally start adding everything else I do have a plate on standby for whenever I'm done mixing all this up. There's a lot more green onions than I expected. All right, so I'm on my knees. I'm about to try the finished product that is the scrambled eggs with the Spam. There's a lot more green onions than I expected, but I don't think too much green onions can hurt. They're better for you than, you know, everything else that's on here. Time to take the first bite that has, well, everything in there. Yeah. Is it supposed to taste anything new? I mean, the green onions are a little overwhelming crunch-wise, because I could, like, I could feel the crunch. Oh, this is pretty good. I kind of like this better than the uh, Spam Burger. Maybe that's because it tastes more like it's something you would have for breakfast. All things considered, yeah, this definitely concludes the second half of me trying Spam. Although, I won't be surprised if there's like other recipes that I try out in the future. So let me know if you guys want me to try something else Spam-wise as you comment down in the video. And be sure to subscribe and support me. My channel's been dying. I don't know why it's been dying. Maybe it's because of the aftermath of when I got hacked, but either way, I'll catch you guys next time.